Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have me, sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. My fellow DJI Ricans, hey together, grüezi miteinander, hallo zusammen. Today I want to introduce you into this new category of videos that I am currently filming. It's named Tech and Snack with Tom and it's all about food and UAV news, UAV projects, UAV talks. The first snack ever going to be introduced by Tom is... Now I need a drum roll. The German baked rolls. They are awesome. Really, this is the main thing why I love Germany. Maybe the only thing. I'm not, eh, I'm somewhat only. Really, you should definitely give them a try. Uh, go on, click Google and search for a German bakery close to where you're standing and get German baked rolls. What do we need for our baked rolls? Check this out. This is, of course, what we need. And to complete our awesome breakfast, you should check out Rivella. That is, I don't know, um, a lemonade from Switzerland. It looks somewhat like medicine. Let's just give it a try. I, I, I haven't tasted it. You should give it a try as well. No, really, it, it doesn't taste bad. I was only confused. I thought I was going to taste someone close, like, I, I don't know, Sprite or 7 Up or something. So after all the snack talking, let's just flip over to the tech talking. Guys, have you ever been thinking of a parachute solution for the DJI Phantoms? I have been, especially within my first days, I was really looking for a parachute solution because for the bigger DJI copters as the DJI S900, S1000, S1000 Plus, there is a parachute solution. And uh, I was always looking for that for my Phantom as well, and there was nothing on the market. And now, a couple of days ago, I found a project and they want to build a parachute for the DJI Phantom. So if, uh, for example, the copter flips over in the sky or if it simply falls down, uh, the parachute opens up and uh, the copter is going to glide to the ground and you can catch it. Or it's not gonna crash. Please forget about what I was seeing. Let's just take a look at some test footage that they shot uh, with their prototype and let's just see if it worked or if the copter crashed completely. Okay, after these tests look pretty interesting already, um, I decided to call the head of the team that builds these parachutes and he's called Michael and right now I'm connected to Michael on Skype and uh, let's just have a short chat and let's just find out um, what the thing is going to cost, where they're going to ship it, what this thing is capable of doing and all that stuff. Hey Michael, what's up? This is Tom and how are you doing? Hello Tom, how are you doing? Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into developing a UAV parachute. Well, my name is Michael Pick. I studied computer science at Tennessee Tech University. And after I graduated, I got into aerial photography. And once in, I was into aerial photography, I wanted a way to protect my investment because I had a lot of money tied up in my camera, my gimbal, my multi-copter. I just wanted some way to protect that investment. What UAV models will your parachute support? Well, currently the Smart Shoot system will support the Quantum Nova Cheerson CX-20 DJI Phantom 1, 2, and 3. What does your parachute feature, actually? Well, what makes the Smart Shoe system special is its ability to operate autonomously. This allows for a much faster parachute deployment over traditional systems where you manually have to flip a switch to deploy a parachute. Uh, the Smart Shoe system also protects against free falls and tumbles, and you can pre-order the Smart Shoe system now for a discount. We will be shipping in October. Have you done any testing yet and did you crash anything? <laughs> yes, we have tested the system extensively and we have not had a major crash while using the SmartShoot system. Will we be able to install the parachute ourselves? 
You will not need to be professional to install this. Um, you can do it yourself in under five minutes. It will be very easy to install. So who should actually buy a parachute? Well, I would say anyone who wants to protect their multi-copter investment or just make it a safer vehicle to fly. I mean, if you have a parachute attached to it, it's naturally going to slow its descent down with, versus one not having a parachute. So it'll just make it a much safer platform. How much is one parachute going to cost? When will you start shipping? And will you offer international shipping? Well, right now you can pre-order the entire Smart Shoes system for $130 on Kickstarter. This price will go up to $160. So if this is something that you're looking at getting, it will be cheaper to do it now versus later. And yes, we do offer international shipping. Finally, tell me how the audience can support your idea and what they get from you in return. Well, if you would like to see Smart Shoes developed into an actual product, you can go over to our Kickstarter page and pre-order a system or pledge a smaller amount and receive a gift. If you go to our Kickstarter page, we have rewards for multiple pledge amounts. I'd love to review your parachute if you finally raise your gold at Kickstarter. So thanks for the interview, Michael, and good luck with your project. Thank you, Tom. It was nice talking to you. So if you want to support Michael's parachute project or even buy a parachute yet, check out smartshoots.com or there is a link in the description that points right at his Kickstarter site. And you should click that and uh, support the project if you think it's worth the money. And I think it's pretty cool. So guys, before you actually leave already, there are two more things I want to present you. Uh, the first thing is only my Facebook group because I usually uh, get my ideas there and it's kind of cool because we can stay there in touch pretty easy, easier than on YouTube. And uh, getting there is pretty simple, www.facebook.com slash groups slash Tom's Tech Time. This is how the page looks like and uh, you can join and would be kind of cool to see you there. And uh, you can leave episode suggestions, ask questions, or whatever you want to within my group. And next to that, I wanted to show you my website, which is www.tomstechtime.com, because there are a couple of things on that page that you should know and that are pretty cool. So first off, this is how the page looks like. Uh, the main page filled with uh, lots of stuff with, I don't know, an interview with me. Or there is a video I shot for a contest, which is pretty fun. And... Uh, yeah, the best deal, you can click at this ad and uh, it will take you to my favorite store. And you could save up to 20% and I get a little amount of that as well so I can get new copters here. And uh, that wasn't actually what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you first off the pilot training because on that site, even though it might take a second to load because there is lots of stuff on that page, um, first off, there is like a small paper especially if you're a beginner might be interesting to you you could download it and carry it with you during your first flights and uh it's only a reminder on safe flying and uh gives you a little a, a few tips and hints for safe flying uh two pages and down there you see uh, all my videos neatly sorted and um they are categorized in four categories beginners pros and uh what is the next one post pro and others so lots of videos about the DJI phantoms here and uh, yeah and now let me show you the tools and gadgets page which is pretty new I just released it today and first of you will find some um, accessories that I find pretty useful or pretty cool for example I haven't tested these stickers yet but I am going to get them very soon and I'm going to check them out uh, lots of cool stickers for example here all the filters from snake river prototyping they are pretty cool and an episode about those is going to be released pretty soon so you see what I'm using what gear I'm using and uh, you find that right here and down here you see uh, a panoramic photos creator which is pretty cool and super simple you simply choose if you want to do wide angle or 360 degrees view shot and you uh, I don't know select the pictures and can get results like this one I added this one or this one out of the air and um, yeah sometimes it messes pictures up a little as well because uh, yeah it's, it's, it's a pretty cheap tool of course if you want to get better shots you can use um, a software that you gotta pay for but this is uh, a cheap solution and especially if your pictures don't show a fisheye lens it works out super well if there is, is a fisheye effect it sometimes doesn't work that good but usually it works pretty well so pretty cool and if you have created some shots you can of course share them on my Facebook group as well I would like to see what you have created down here you can leave an episode suggestion and finally to end up this episode I would ask you guys to leave a donation even though that sounds like I'm just asking for money yeah finally I am but I want to get a new copter here and um, yeah that simply needs some money 
because I got to pay for that copter as well. Either the Phantom 3, 3DR Solo or Inspire One. Uh, doesn't matter. So it would be kind of cool if you would click at the donate at the PayPal donate button. And uh, yeah, guys, ba ba da bam. Check out TomsTechTime.com. Da 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 da. So guys, thanks for watching this very first Tech and Snack with Tom episode. If you liked it, leave a thumb up. And if you're the head of a project or if you have other ideas for this Tech and Snack show, uh, please leave a comment down there. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you want to see within the next episode that is going to be uploaded next month. And you should definitely subscribe as well because this Saturday I'm already going to upload the next tutorial of mine. And it's going to be freaky, it's going to be cool, and it's going to be interesting. Thanks for watching. And now I'm going to get my baked rolls. Because I'm so hungry after all the talking. Early in the morning, four o'clock. No, that was a lie. <laughs> I'm honest, that was a big bad lie. Bye bye. Oh, I gotta get a knife.